Hello, welcome to my YouTube video. This is the second part to time traveling. I mentioned the several things on my last YouTube video. This one's going to go more in depth to show how it actually works and how it will benefit um, mankind in using these techniques and understanding what time travel is and how it actually works. So enjoy the video for the second part. Hello, now this part of the, my YouTube video will talk about time travel in the future. The last time I talked about time travel in the past, I'm going to use the same pictures, the same everything, the same graphics. I'm going to show you why it's, uh, it's, it's actually amazing. Adam and Eve, all the way up to 2016, in the 21st century, in the beginning right here. This is the wonderful part. This is traveling in the future. What happened was when people always thought that they lived in the past because they got all these visions from their DNA from the past. So they thought they lived in the past because they're getting these visions right here through the DNA. Now, how do they get these visions of being in the future? This is spectacular, mind-bending to the normal person because it has nothing to do with the DNA structure per se with the physicalness of the DNA being passed through the parents. It has nothing to do with that. What has happened, like I've mentioned, when they talked about the past being back in time, a lot of people back in time before the 20th century Before the 20th century, they always say, well, I thought I was a farmer. I felt like I lived another life as a carpenter. I thought I lived another life as a blacksmith. I thought I lived another life as a, a, a masonry. So they all, all normal things that they thought they lived before, again, passed through the DNA sequence. So they thought that. But going forward in time, it's magnificent how they manipulated this through our DNA. Because our DNA works through what we learn. And this is the process of what we learn. Since the 1900s, what has been developed? The radio, the telephone, the VCR, the, the, the satellites, everything, the, the cameras, the TVs. People are sitting on their couch. And they're watching this. They call it the boob tube. They're watching this TV thing. And so their minds are looking at this. And they're sleeping, watching TV. They're awake, watching TV. They're looking at all these space traveling movies, these uh, uh, um, gladiator movies, all these kind of movies. And they're sleeping on them. Their mind is interpreting that these visions are real because they're getting pictures, just like you're living today. You walk to your friend's house. Hey, how you doing, Pete? How you doing, Joe? But these things are spectacular. They're jumping off buildings. They're, they're doing all these things. They met aliens. They've met uh, 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 um, friends from different planets that, that, that are flying back and forth. Their brain cannot conceive the reality in this. So they're actually living it. They know that it's, this is the tricky part now of time traveling forward. The person watching it right here knows that it's fake, but it's indented in their brain like they've actually lived these things. So their DNA is incorporating this vision. Just like I told you back here, when the person's looking at the sky, he's looking at, I could paint this. This is beautiful. He never, he, he, maybe he painted it. Maybe he didn't. And then down here, this person is like, oh, I love all the scenery and everything. And all of a sudden, this person down here becomes Picasso, Leonardo, whoever, whoever's the painter here. He becomes a painter from all their examples. This person is living all these things through the television. He knows nothing. He does nothing. He's the couch potato. He's he doesn't have to be a couch potato. He could be a brilliant man watching television. But his brain interprets it as being reality. He's meeting these aliens because he's sitting on that couch. He's talking to Captain Bacar. He's talking to Captain Kirk. He's, he's 
on the on the, the episodes themselves. He's dreaming, he's sleeping, he's learning. And so now, this is why people are saying, I've been to this planet, I've been over here in this solar system, this galaxy, this universe. I've been there, I've been here, I've, I've met aliens, I've met things, I've been in the future. In the future, we're going to have... We're going to have this, we're going to have that. This guy's brain is, is, is thinking of these things. He's dreaming of these things. He's, he's put himself in these things. When their children come in, when he has a kid, all these DNA experiences that he's had in life from the television and etc., the videos, the video games, all these things... He's learning about these things. So when his child is born, and his child is born from the 20th century to the 21st century, these are all the experience that they learn. And that's why today there's a big boom in technology. All these thoughts, all these patterns, all these things coming into effect from the imagination that that incorporates all these people on one thought, one idea, one premises of what the future can be. And that's why it is like that. And that's why they say, I've been, I've seen things in the future. They have seen things in the future. They've been in the future. In the future of somebody else's mind that's put it on the TV. So that's the concept of the futuristic concept of going, traveling in the future. There is nobody that traveled in the future. There's nobody that has traveled in the past. But the sequences that the DNA are leaving behind because it's a magnificent. And scientists know this themselves. They're trying to get the, the computers to work on, on living enzymes because they hold 10 times, billion times more storage space than anything that they have today that they're, they're working on. It's because that's where they know that the knowledge can be incorporated into a human's mind itself. So that's where we're getting time travel forward. My other things that I will be talking about is going to incorporate everything together and you'll see that what I'm actually working on to make it work with my phase variants, uh, a neural link, all these other things that um, I'm explaining. So uh, thank you very much for uh, staying on my YouTube video. I hope this part helps you to understand what time travel is. If you'd like to make any comments, please uh, send me any comments you'd like to discuss. If you'd like to give donations, will be very appreciated. And the ones that have donated, I appreciate the donations. Thank you very much.